What is up guys? I am Joe Holland. I'm going to show you guys a color that if you know, you already know. But if you don't know, you're probably going to turn your nose up to this or laugh at it and think it's one of those gimmick colors like I did years ago. This thing's been on the market for 10 or 15 years. Bunch of lure companies using it. But I'm going to show you a color that catches fish. It flat out catches fish. It is called the Wonder Bread color pattern and you can find it on just about every shape and size for pan fish and the thing does it work does it work i don't know i don't know what you guys think but i'm gonna throw it exclusively today and i'm going for big yellow perch and big golden crap and we're gonna see if it works but there it is there's a acme tackle tungsten in wonder bread that's a cast master right there a rattling cast master we're gonna go after him with a live scope and see if we can catch him it's cold cold day here in maine we're about five below zero i think my yeah I can't really feel my nose, but I think it's running. Please excuse the snots and stuff like that. And we might even put a piece of Wonder Bread on one of these lures and see if we can catch a fish on that. Guys, when I fish pan fish, I like to have three different size lures, give them three different approaches. A lot of times people start with like really small stuff and work their way up. I'm kind of the opposite where I like to see what they won't eat and start with something big. Today, I'm throwing a rattle and cast master, and I go right down to a quarter and then an eighth, and then I go down into a small little tungsten jig head. What is the story? What is the deal with this color? I don't know, here's my theory on it. Maybe you guys know who started it or where it started. I'm thinking like somewhere, maybe in Minnesota, there was like a custom lure maker. This is just in my mind. You know, custom lure makers are always messing around with different colors and stuff. We used Wonder bread as a kid on a hook to catch like bluegill any various sunfish and uh, you could even catch perch on them so i'm thinking somebody was like oh that's kind of a cool color i'm gonna paint it and see if it works and sure enough it works and it works like crazy for me anything like on that whiter shade days it outfishes any other white that i could throw even something supernatural painted like a bait fish i don't know why but the wonder bread actually outfishes it yellow spots red spots blue spots pink spots why does it work? I don't know. Do the fish think they're eyeballs? Is it a different shade? Is it just a different contrast in colors? Does it look like movement to them? I have no idea why it works. What do you guys think? I, I'm super, super curious and interested in what you guys think, why it works, if you've had luck with it or if you haven't had luck with it. But for me, if I'm picking up a light shade, I'm throwing Wonder Bread. Got him. Got him. All right, a little crappy. A little eater crappy. Not a bad way to start right there. Got one, uh, probably 10 inch range right there. Gonna bring that home for Donnie to eat. Here we go, here we go. What is this? What is this? We're gonna find out. Got him, oh. Feels like a bass. Wow. Yeah. Guess we're into a bass. I think that's a bass. But I'm hoping it's a crappie. It's a crappie. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Pretty sweet right there, guys. That one jumped it right there. That's a nice crappie right there. That's another one real good eater size right there. Got him. Good tug on him. Looks like a nice crappie. Big one. Alrighty. 
nice crappy right there guys on that wonder bread they're uh they're not super aggressive today but pretty good fish right there Big school. Got them. Big school with big crappy. Oh no, they're big yellows. Oh man. They're jumbo yellows. Gotta get down to them. Big dark jumbo yellows. We are lit up. The screen's incredible. Got him. <laughs> this is unreal. What a school of yellows on me. Jumbos. Jumbos, they're still there. Still there, stay. Stay. See it. Oh, they saw it. Oh, missed them. Them. Wow, these awesome school of yellow perch. Whaled it. Let me make sure I'm not messed up. Yep, I'm messed up, that's why. Hurry, 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 hurry. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Nice yellow. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Ah. No. No. Come back. Wow, what a wake up call that was. I was half asleep. Show you what these big dark yellows look like. Things are almost black. Hard to even see the lines on them. They do have stripes, believe it or not. Here it comes. These could be crappy. Big crappy. Nipped it. Got it. Yeah, nice. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. There's pure gold right there. Pure gold, boys. <laughs> Beautiful. That is pure gold right there on the Wonder Bread. Beautiful, beautiful crappie right there. There were two of them. The first one took a whack and missed it. Second one did not. That's usually how it works. After you miss it, it drops and second one jumps on it. Beautiful crappie there. They are pounding the Wonder Bread. I don't know what it is about that color, but it does work. So Wonder Bread actually turned, I think 102 years old this uh, this last year, which is crazy that it's been out on the market for over a hundred years. When you hear of the best thing since sliced bread, well, pretty sure they were one of the first sliced bread companies that you could buy in a supermarket that wasn't like homemade bread at a supermarket. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here, here we go. Got him. Nice. Nice. Good one here, guys. Another good one. Another yellow. Another good yellow. Where's the rest of them? <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> Let's get them. Quick. Get out. There's a couple more left. Oh, he sees it. Got him. Jacked him.
That's a jumbo. That is a giant yellow perch. Oh man, look at that baby. That's not a bass. It's actually a yellow perch, believe it or not. That's a good yellow perch right there, but that's a better one. Look at the size of that yellow right there, guys. Chomping that Wonder Bread. It does work, I don't know why, but they don't even hesitate. Chomp, but chomp, but chewy chomp. They're back. That's not a perch. That's not a perch. Got it. Got it, whatever it is. Don't think that one's a perch. Good fish. We got a good fish here, guys. Don't think it's a perch. It's just, it might be, though. Oh, yeah, it's a perch. It's a big one. <laughs> All right. But chomp, but chomp, but chewy chomp on that. Wonder bread. Cast master. Nice. Crappy kind of had to work that one out of the mud. That's one of those rare instances where you got to drop back down into the mud to get them. But there he is on that Wonder Bread. Ate it pretty good. And uh, I think Donnie's going to eat that one. Oh boy. There we go. 12 incher. Got him that time. Got him that time. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yep. Yep. Nice big golden. All right. Yes. That was a tough one to catch for some reason, but he ended up eating the Wonder Bread. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Super cool. Well, guys, there you have it. That's proof right there in the pudding. It does work. It works on finicky fish. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you, hopefully it might give you another option to try a different color. And instead of laughing at something like that, put it to use. Put it, give it a try and see what you can put on the ice. Thanks, guys. Is it a pickle? Got him. <laughs> Little bass. <laughs> oh, bonus fish. Bonus largemouth on the Wonder Bread. Little guy. It's not very big at all. <laughs>